Hi, it's uh, Gary Snedden here. Um, I'm going to play you, play you a lick that you can do as an ending lick or an intro lick in the key of D. And you're just on like a plain D chord, like in the, like that. <laughs> a plain D chord, or D major seven if you want. So it's kind of a cascading thing, and it also is kind of Hendrixy on the end. There, it's got kind of a, a Hendrix ending. I, I love Jimi Hendrix, so I'm a great fan of his. So I try and do a lot of his kind of stuff in my own playing. So, uh, so we're just on a plain D chord here. Let me try and pull up that viewfinder a little bit so you can hear this better. Just plain D chord. Okay, and it sounds like this. Oh, let me give you my op my open strings first. Here's E, B, G, D, A, and E. Okay, so back to this lick. Sounds like this. I'm gonna play it real slow. And then the very ending is like. the Hendrixy, Hendrixy part. You know, it kind of cascades down. So here's the look again. Do a harmonic on the end there. Okay, so let's analyze that lick here a little bit here in the key of D. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm playing the first part open strings. I'm using my first and fourth finger here. And there's my open E string. And I'm finger picking it. Doing, you can either play. You can even play this if with your first and third finger if you want. Okay, so let's, let's analyze what I'm doing here. It's just uh, really simple. I'm playing the notes uh, uh, C on the third fret, on the fifth fret, third string, and then the D on the second string, third fret, and then the open E. So I've got this. Okay, I'm playing it with my first and third fingers right now, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna switch to my fourth and first fingers here because that's what I'm used to. So. So you got this, down to your your fourth uh, fourth string, your D string, you're playing the uh, A, there's your open strings, so you're playing an A, then an open B, open B string, second string, and I'm plucking out with my fingers, see? Uh, ninth fret, my fourth finger. So you've got all those open strings in there. That's what gives it that cascading type of sound. So you got this. These are just thirds starting on the tenth fret. Slide it right down to the third fret from the tenth to the third, up to the fifth. 
So you just got two notes as I'm hitting there. A third on the on the tenth fret. So I get a little mini D chord, part of a D chord, and then that goes to a G, to an A. But it's so fast it sounds like it's all on D. You got that? And try and slide it right down and you can hear all those notes sliding down, listen. Let me try and play a little louder there. What you're doing is kind of like that, but you're slurring it all down. See, right? Real easy, but it sounds kind of Hendrixy, right? Put a little, vib a little vibrato on the end there. Right? Sounds neat. It's almost like a uh, RB country kind of thing. And uh, Jimi Hendrix had a lot of RB influence in his playing, so uh, that's kind of his, uh, that's why he got the style that he got, so that he, this famous sound that he came up with. You could just end it off with a D, tri a D uh, harmonic there if you wanted. So let's take that again real slow here, right from the very beginning. It's alright. Let me try that again from the beginning. Okay, so okay, I'll, slow, I'll I'll try and speed that up a little bit. You can play it like this. I won't play it too fast, but. Hope you got that. Bye-bye.